our body is bombarded by several pathogens every day. And these pathogens could be like viruses, bacteria, fungi, or even helminths. Most of the cases, our body knows how to deal with these pathogens. And these pathogens get resolved easily by the immune system of our body, which is the defense system, which protects us against all these external pathogens. However, our immune system might get confused in case of some kind of novel pathogens. Let's imagine there is a novel virus. In this case, our immune system would be super confused that where does this virus come from because it is simply not stored in their records. So, first of all, our immune system would try to gather intel about the virus. But this virus is nasty. By the time our immune system gathers in info about this virus, these pathogens would increase and multiply inside our body. And then they would mount a very strong act, uh, response in the body. So that is why our body becomes weak and our immune system could not resist these viruses. Now, job of a vaccine is to raise an alarm to the immune system and make the immune system more knowledgeable about the upcoming pathogen attack. So, the vaccination tells the immune system about the presence or the nature of the virus or bacteria or even the nature of the antigen that they possess such that immune system would have a complete profile of what is coming and they would prepare themselves ahead of time. It's like a mock drill that happens in army. So let's talk about vaccines and their types. So vaccines could be of different type. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about live attenuated vaccine. Let's talk about what is a life attenuated vaccine, how they work, what are, what are the advantages and disadvantages, etc. So, live attenuated vaccines are nothing but entire microorganisms in an attenuated format or in an inactivated format. So, let's say this is an active virus. By chemical means, one can attenuate this virus. So now this virus is kind of inactive and this virus could be then introduced in format of an injection or a vaccine. Now this virus which is attenuated, it's like a dead body of virus. So obviously it's not able to infect the body but the immune system would recognize that and alarm all the other components of the immune system about, about this possible infection that might happen in the future. So immune system would be ready in prior for any future attack. Now one example of these kind of live attenuated vaccine dates back to 18th century when smallpox was a pandemic. At the same time, one observation was life-changing. The milkmaids in England, they developed cowpox. Now, cowpox was not lethal and these milkmaids do not develop smallpox. This milkmaid had small blisters in their hand, but often these are not deadly. So, cowpox virus and smallpox virus are pretty similar. Looking at this kind of logic, Edward Jenner took out some fluid from these postules and injected it into a healthy individual. Next time when the healthy individual who is injected with this postule extract is not anymore affected by a smallpox virus. In other words, this pers person is immune to smallpox virus. So how did that happen? As smallpox virus is pretty much similar to the cowpox virus, injecting some amount of fluid from the postule brings about an immunity 
against a similar kind of virus which is the smallpox virus and this was a crude example of live attenuated vaccine. Now there are many more examples that we know. For example, we can talk about polio vaccine or the Sabine polio vaccine formulated by Albert Sabine. So in that case, active polio virus is attenuated and that is incorporated orally and that kind of eradicated polio from the world. Another one is BCG vaccine. Taking this example, we would understand that how these kind of live attenuation process can work. So, BCG, which is the attenuated format of mycobacterium, this was generated by growing mycobacterium strain in a bile containing media. After growing them for a very long time, they have adapted to grow a media which contains bile. So obviously, they do not grow that much in a body situation or in a normal situation. So that is why they cannot survive. But once they are injected, they cannot perform any kind of infectious uh, kind of symptoms, but our immune system can be alarmed by their presence. And this is how BCG vaccine worked. Already, we have taken three examples of live attenuated vaccine. Now, let us talk about more. So, these live attenuated vaccine are generally unable to grow in the body, but it raises an alarm to the immune system. It informs the immune system about an upcoming infection. And it gives the immune system enough time to prepare such that if any kind of infection happens in the future, they are fully prepared to encounter. So let us talk about the advantage and the disadvantage of this uh, vaccine, especially the live attenuated vaccine. First of all, live attenuated vaccines give rise to very strong immune response. So it activates the immune system very strongly. That's the biggest advantage of live attenuated vaccine. And Due to this strong immune response, there is no need to give booster doses. But there are quite a lot of disadvantage of using a live attenuated vaccine. There are a lot of side effects. Because many of the cases, there are chances of reinfection. These attenuated ones might escape the attenuation and might grow inside the body. And they can infect instead of protect. So there could be other adverse side effects as well. So these are the major disadvantages for which people these days do not prefer live attenuated vaccines anymore. However, we should always understand that live attenuated vaccines are inexpensive. Second of all, it does not require any booster dose. Think about the developing countries or the third world countries. Once you give one dose, the patient might not return for the booster dose again. So the vaccination course might be incomplete. From that point of view, if you have a strong immune response boosting um, vaccine, one dose might be enough. And that's the biggest advantage of the life attenuated vaccine. Despite of the disadvantages, still many of these uh, live attenuated vaccines are still used in the third world countries. So in this video, we have discussed how live attenuated vaccine works, how live attenuated vaccine is made, and lastly, the advantages and the disadvantages of live attenuated vaccine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to access my code in Unacademy, you can always use my code AP10 for 10% discount. And you can also support me in Patreon. Thanks for listening. And do let me know in the comment how you like my videos. Thank you.